Welcome back. This November's election will be one of the most consequential in recent memory and forget the White House and all of that. We're talking about local terms. That is because Portland voters will be electing those who will take part in a brand new form of city government, a mayor plus 12 city councilors. It's all changing though. We want to show you what won't be showing up on the ballot, at least in Multnomah County. Earlier this year, we told you about the Portland Police Union's ballot initiative that would reshape and scale back a yet to be implemented police oversight board that voters overwhelmingly approved in 2020. 82% by the way in favor. So the union's measure would have removed the new oversight board's ability to discipline officers and instead leave it up to the police chief. That's how it's done in cities like Seattle, Tacoma, San Francisco and New York. It would also have allowed for current and former law enforcement members to be part of the board which is not permitted by what voters approved four years ago. Well, the union's initiative was declared void this month because it turns out they didn't turn in enough signatures by the July 5th deadline. So one less thing there on the November ballot. For what it's worth, the city says zero initiative petitions qualified. All the others were either withdrawn or in the case of the police union's other ballot initiative, it's around police staffing ruled unconstitutional by a judge. That's the end of that.